Ei, shalom, shalom, and stuff. So, it became no place to have Hashem, Yahusha, Hashem, Makakudash, the belongs to the apostles of GMS, and honestly, brothers doing the work in truth, more sincerity. So, quick one, this is a, uh, you know, only got uh, to, to this video today. Um, it was the 31st of January, so I, it's been maybe a week or so. Um, I believe, I'm, I'm not too sure. I know it's one of the brothers from uh, SF Bay in this video. I don't know if the brother or elder, so uh, forgive me on that. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not too good of, uh, on names. And, uh, uh, you know, so forgive me on that, but, you know, I was watching his video. And it was a beautiful video, um, you know. But one of the things I wanted to touch on what was is what was said at the end, because um, obviously you know the uh, the video came up on you know on Fox News or whatever CNN, uh, rather, right? And everyone, you know, was it Fox News? Fox News, sorry, slut. Right, and the brothers, you know, their faces were all plastered across the TV screen, um, as it was in 2014. And you know, you watch a video. Um, he says, you know, before that that camp, they, you know, do the spirit. He was like, yeah, it feels like 2014, right? When basically the the first time that that video went viral, right, the one where um, it, it was labeled the most hated group in America, right? But then he said, um, you know, the Lord had it whereby, you know, he lost his job uh, because of that. To 2014, spirit jumped on him to set up another job. Uh, 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 you know, to set up his own thing. Man, he was saying after the whole CNN thing, man, it was popping, right? And I said, you, you know, you can watch the whole video. It's a beautiful video. Uh, the point I'm staying on is at the end, right? You know, because this thing is about faith. It's about having faith in the Lord and that how the Lord will, you know, help us out of our tricky situations, man. Right? So I'll just jump to the scriptures. It's Sirach 2.10. Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Right? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Right? So at the time it may not seem like you know, it may not it may not be what you want, but at the end of the day the Lord knows what you what you need. Right? Not saying it's gonna be easy. Right? Not saying that you, you won't you fear. Right? But the thing is, you've got to remember that the Lord, uh, would you call it, uh, um, no, in fact, let me, read, let me read this. It says, for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. Right? Hey, so when you're going through things, man, the Lord will save you. But yeah, you're still going to have to go through it right? and, and overcome your you know, your, uh, you know, this fleshly fear, because at the end of the day, scriptures do say, Lord, we've not been given the spirit of fear, we're supposed to fear the most high, right, but we ain't, you know, we ain't supposed to be all going around, you know, oh, what was going to do, right, it says in verse 12, woe to be, woe be to fearful hearts, right, and faint hands, and the sinner that goeth two ways, woe unto him that is faint-hearted, Right, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. Right, yeah, because hey, one of the things you got to do when you pray the Lord to, um, you know, uh, 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 get you out of a jam or whatever what have you, is you got to believe. Right, um, and I know you just, oh, I can't think of the word, but I know that's spoken about, uh, 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 you know, in, in, in the Gospels, right, where, you know, I believe it was, you know, Yahweh Shah was saying, you know, if, if you pray, and you, you know, genuinely believe, right, then, you know, basically that's a prerequisite, right, you know, if you don't believe the Lord is going to do it, then, you know, it's null and void, right, you've got to have faith and believe, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it, in, your, in the prayers that you make, right, you've got to believe that the Lord, Yahweh Yahshua will protect you, right, in the way that he promised that he would, Right, and uh, yeah, but because if any brother um, knows what that scripture is, because uh, that's going to bug me now. Uh, if you could post it <laughs> and the uh, come on board, um, right? Yeah, but yeah, it's all about it's all about that faith and fact. Let me let me grab that because, like I said, it, it would have been easy to lose the faith after that. It would have been easy to just be like, oh, I lost my job, blah blah, you know. But then you know you got to just go with the process, man. 
Like Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith it is impossible to please him. Like for he that cometh to the most, I must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Like so once again, same sort of thing. you got to, you got to have faith in the Lord, that the Lord can do what he said he's going to do. Like that, the, you know, the Lord said he ain't going to forsake his, his, his elect. Like so you got to have faith in that. Because if you don't, when shit gets hard, you ain't gonna believe that the Lord can get you out of it, and then you gonna get caught and take the chip. And we know what the judgment for taking the chip is: is your destruction. Right, so now it's all about building yourself up in the faith, right? This is Romans fifteen and four. For whatsoever things were written a full time were written for our learning, right? So at A E N, you know, Sirach two and ten is basically going into the same thing, basically saying, look. Read, read the scriptures, see what the Lord did to get men of old out of jams, right? It says that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, right? So you read certain scriptures as, as the one that will end with, right? And then you basically see that the Lord has, has basically set out what he's going to do in the last days. Right? Then you read, uh, for, for instance, the one with uh, Elijah, right? where basically look, it rained. But basically, so it was rain, didn't rain. It was a drought, right? But then the Lord basically had uh, Elijah up, you know, by a creek. I think it says in the scriptures, when basically the when the, the day the creek ran out of water, well, I believe it, uh, creek. I believe that's the right word. Uh, yeah, a stream, brook, or minor tributary of a river. Right, so it's like a small bit of, you know, a small body of water, let's put it like that, right, but the day that that ran out, ran out of water, right, it started raining again, it was fed by ravens, well, you've got to read these scriptures and know that the Lord is, is going to do exactly what he says he's going to do, right, this is a, and it's a comfort, man. Well, you, you, when you when you think of some of the stuff that the Lord has done, right, and then you 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 know you think about the little jam that you're in, that should comfort you, because you know like you know to, to use this as another example, the yeah, brother might have just been like, look man, you know I've, I've lost my job, blah blah blah, right, but the Lord delivers us out of Egypt, right, and it's that faith, right, and it's just a beautiful thing, bro, they have our shame now, shy. Right, you know, for, for forgiveness, bro, the faith to continue on, right? You know, because, hey, we, our, our hope that our, the Lord has bestowed that much faith in me. Right, and, and, and to all the brothers at the end of the day, right? Because, hey, it's all easy, well and good saying it when your face ain't plastered on TV, when you ain't, you know, when nobody knows your name. It's all easy. Right, but when you're public enemy number one, you're going down the street, everyone's giving you, you know, mean mugging you, right? Then what you go and say, then, then, you know, in that position, you've got to have faith. Or you've got to pray that if you're in that position, you can go through that. Right? Like I said, and then the spirit had it whereby, you know, things have gotten better. Is not now in a better situation? Well, well I mean, it, from, you know, uh, information that is, you know, been revealed in the video, right? He ain't answering to anyone. He's his own boss, right? And, you know, he like said after the CNN thing, his phone was popping off. Hey, broke the Abash and the Ashai for that, man. That's beautiful. It shows you the power of the Lord, man. Well, you know, hey, you, you have faith and the Lord will reward you. And certain times you, you will lose something. And as you're losing it, you're thinking the worst thing ever. But then the Lord will put you in a better position. Hey, for instance, you might lose your job. Well, let's use that example. And this is where you've got to be spiritual as well, because then you might get a new job, but a new job may, be, may not be as big a number. Well, but it, it affords you certain luxuries. Maybe it's got more holidays. Maybe you can control what times you work. Right? end of the day in everything that we do is you know it's all about the you know for this truth you know does it benefit the truth right does it benefit the body 
This is 1 Corinthians 10 and 11. Now all these things happen unto them for an ensample, uh, and they are written for our admonition, upon whom the world ends of the world are come. Let me read that again. I didn't quite correct that. Now all these things happen unto them for examples. Right, examples. Right, examples are written in the scriptures. Right? This is Isaiah 34, 16. See here of the book of Yahweh and read. And none of these shall fail. None shall want her mate for my mouth they hath commanded and his spirit it hath gathered them. Right, so we're supposed to read these scriptures now. Get into them and get over the miracles of the Lord, right? And get you know go into the, the prophecies, right? Because it's saying none, none of these shall fall. I was talking about the prophecies. None of the prophecies are going to uh, 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 all. Of, rather, let me put it like this: all the prophecies are going to come to pass, right? And this is one of them. And I end with this: is Isaiah sixty-five thirteen. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, Power, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. This is the saying, look, in the last days, when all hell's breaking loose, when, uh, you know, you've got martial law troops on the street, you know, ain't no food, ain't no water, right during that period of time, and everyone's crying. It's it's you know there there there's a a wishing for wine in the streets. Is is in even in this one? No, it's not in this one. Yeah, but there's a wishing for wine in the streets. Basically, wishing for those good times. Yeah, but the servants of the Lord are going to be I. Right. Why? Because the Lord's going to be with them. Right. And this is a promise. Right. So you do the work, and the Lord will take care of you. Right. And that's a promise. That's faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. So, Lord's will, I was edifying. Until the next time, I'm going to say Shalom.